So we move on to three hunter chase races from Lark Hill. And the first one's up to two mile four furlong. Monica Le Houlier from Martin Liedem. Hello Bud for Obi Wan. Sufalini Moulin for Paul Rose. Victorian Elfall for Thomas Rogers along with Heathcote Monarch. Max Ralex Cherry and Trouble Evening for James Shea. Seven of them here at Lark Hill. Take the first of the hunter chases of the year. I might well run the little hunt to chase winners. We get to the first. Oh, and Heathcote Monarch went straight through the top of that. Um, but he's still on his feet. And takes it up now as they swing right handed down to the second of the 18. They'll have to take here at Lark Hill, which is the second largest race course in the UK, if you didn't know. I wonder if anyone knows what the longest race course is. Well, it's Ascot, I'll tell you. Anyway, they're over three and they're all still on their feet. And it's Heathcote Monarch that leads us from Victoria and Elfall and Sufalini Moulin. They're a length or so away from Max. Trouble evening on his inside. And then Hello Bud and Monica Le Houlier, which I imagine has been named after Gerald Houlier. It's Monique Houlier's sister. They all get over that one, although Hello Bud made a mistake. Obi Wan, serious chill, just drops to the rear. And we're still through the first half a mile. And it's Heathcote Monarch that still leads us from Victoria and Elfall. The inside is Sufalini Moulin. And Trouble Evelyn and Max. And we'll get over that one. The grey Monique Lahoulier. And Hallow Bud. So, a good chance to pick up wins here. Have runners in these kind of races. Well, obviously, I'd know you that uh, got over the chase course under 100 from last week. Plenty of green silks in here. Heathcote Monarch, Sufalini Moulin as they go over the water. Victoria Elfall and Trouble Evelyn, all in green. We've got Max for Alex Cherry, all the need went through the top of that one. Sufalini Moulin gets a little bit closer. But just bringing up the rear as they come to the eighth. And we'll get over that mistake there by, I think, Trouble Evelyn. And she shuffled back towards the rear to join Hello Bud, big ditch. And we'll get over that couple of big jumps towards the rear, Trouble Evelyn and Max. But he's got Monarch, although jumping not particularly well. He's got a three, four length advantage, comes to the tenth. Takes it well, another couple of big jumps. Trouble Evelyn stumbled over that one again. Be lucky if he's stays on his feet that one but it's Heathcote Monarch swings them right handed and then line up for the next from Sufalini Moulin and Victoria and Elfall and Max and Monarch, Monique, Monique Monique the Houlier and Hello Bud got a bit closer all done out trouble even stepped over that one so we're just a mile left to travel still Heathcote Monarch from Sufalini Moulin Victoria and Elfall Max and Hello Bud. Trouble usually moving up on the inside. Monique Le Houlier. Just slowly plodding away. Why is the ball keeping out of trouble? And we'll go over that one. It's Heathcote Monarch. Been there since the beginning. From Sufalini Moulin. And Victoria and Elf and Trouble Evelyn. Still made up some really good ground now and zooming up on the inside. He's going to come and throw down a challenge to... Oh, and then took a big dive at that one and slots right back again. He's having a good go of it, though, Trouble Evelyn. But it's Heathcote Monarch under a little bit of pressure now. Right off the bridle from Sufalini Moulin and Trouble Evelyn. Big ditch. The leaders are all over it. In fact, everybody really took that one well. So as we come down to the final half mile, it's Heathcote Monarch from Trouble Evelyn in second. Sufalini Moulin is third. Running really well on the outside is Monique Le Houlier. Then a length back to Victoria and L4. And the two at the rear are Hello Bud and Max. But it's Heathcote Monarch that goes on again inside the three furlongs. It's Heathcote Monarch from Trouble Evelyn and Monique Le Houlier was a little bit slower than that at the rear. Couple of mistakes, but it's Heathcote Monarch still leads coming down to the final half quarter mile. And it's Heathcote Monarch from Trouble Evelyn and Monique Le Houlier. They go over the 16th two from home, and it's Heathcote Monarch from Trouble Evelyn. Trouble Evelyn trying to fight back again as they swing right handed with just two to jump in the final straight. And it's Heathcote Monarch from the inside. Trouble Evelyn, Monique Le Houlier still got a lot of work to do, but it's Heathcote Monarch from Trouble Evelyn. The two Tom Rogers horses, they're both over, and it's Trouble Evelyn. And we've lost one there. Monique Le Houlier's gone, but Trouble Evelyn's taking it up inside the final half. He gets over the last from Heathcote Monarch. It's going to be a win for Trouble Evelyn. 
dodgy old jump in all the way round, but still turns up a winner from Heathcote Monarch in second, Victorian Alpha was third, Fulton Surfing, Lean in, Lynn, Hello Bub was fifth, Max was sixth, and our only faller was Monique Lahoulier. So that's a good win there. After some really poor jumping. That's trouble, Evelyn. And Heathcote Monarch, I might have made a mistake on who won that one. I think Trouble Evelyn, I thought it was Thomas Rogers, but it looks like a James Shea horse. The colours, it is a James Shea winner. Well done. Mistakes, you're not wrong. Anyway, Heathcote Monarch for Tom Rogers was second, with Victorian Elf Fault also for Tom Rogers third, Sir Fellini Moulin fourth, and Hello Buff Roby one fifth.